At the Museum Theatre right now for the Park's new festival and uh, today we're going to be witnessing a dance performance by a company called Parijat Desai Dance Company all the way from New York. It's definitely going to be brilliant. Let's go check it out. The Park's new festival, Edition 5, curated by Prakriti Foundation, is a unique initiative to promote culture and contemporary art by bringing together emerging artists on a common platform. This edition of the Parks New Festival is going to be bigger and better than ever before as the audiences can enjoy the festival across six cities New Delhi, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Mumbai and Chennai. The festival will see performances in modern theatre, contemporary dance and hip-hop by celebrated artists. Today the stage was set at Museum Theatre for the Parijat Desai Dance Company to enthrall the audience. The performance was nothing short of spectacular and was a treat for the eyes, ears and mind. So this is our fifth edition, year five, and we've taken it to six cities this year. It's India's only national performing arts festival that is private, and it's a real delight because we've been able to showcase things which in some way identify with the new India. Uh, how people see us, for instance, tonight at the Parijat Desai Dance Company, how they imagine the new India and how they engage with it. Yesterday we had Maya Krishna Rao performing a piece which talked about different kinds of urban and rural and political satire. Tomorrow we have Desi Hip Hop and then we have Sandra Chatterjee who's uh, reinvoking Tagore's spirit through a memory of music. And finally we have something called the Short and Sweet Festival which is 10 minute plays written and performed by Indian actors, directors and writers which really is a showcase of young emerging new talent. Brilliant and uh, tell us as a festival this is very unique and it's a brilliant concept that a lot of people actually are doing and who are you exactly targeting when it comes to the audience for a festival like this? I think as you saw today the audience is mixed. There are young people, there are students, there are tourists, there are mommies in Mylapore silks who go to sabas and kacheris and who are also open to seeing contemporary new work. And so basically it's targeted to today's India, the new India, where you can balance the traditional with the contemporary. I love the show and I'm sure the audience felt the same. But what did Parijat Desai herself have to say? I got to talk to her right after the curtains came down. Alright, just done with the performance by the Parijat Desai Dance Company and I have none other than Parijat herself and uh, quite a spectacular show I have to say and uh, we don't really get to see performances like this in Chennai too often and uh, tell us a little bit about the preparation for Chennai City basically. Well, we rehearsed a lot. I brought this group together just for this tour okay. and uh, we rehearsed in Brooklyn and Manhattan for about three months and uh, we've been touring all over India it's been exciting okay and it is a dance company from New York but there's a lot of Indian element in the performances so uh, you do the same kind of performances back in New York as well 
Yeah, my company performs a blend of Bharatanatyam and American modern dance. So uh, the themes are varied, the music is varied, sometimes Indian, sometimes contemporary, Western. I've used Japanese taiko music, but the choreographic elements are Indian and contemporary, yeah, Western. A wonderful performance by a brilliant team of dancers. The Parks New Festival definitely had put on a show. Elegance, beauty and sheer brilliance. That's what the Parijat Desai Dance Company was all about. I do hope you enjoyed it. But you know what? There's a lot more to come because the Box New Festival has just begun. Well, that's all I have for you on this edition of Shift Focus. I do hope you enjoyed it. Keep your comments and suggestions coming in right into feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. Till next week, this is me, Melvin, saying bye-bye. <laughs>